The Aerospace Line's pregnant Guppy was a large, wide-bodied cargo aircraft built in the United States and used for ferrying outsized cargo items, most notably NASA's components of the Apollo program. The pregnant Guppy was the first of the Guppy line of aircraft produced by Aerospace Lines. The design also inspired similar designs such as the jet-powered Airbus Beluga, and the Boeing Dreamlifter. Topic. Development In 1960, U.S. airlines were disposing of their obsolete piston-engined Boeing 377 Stratocruisers in favor of the newer jet-engined airliners. NASA was finding that barge transport of their increasingly large space program components from manufacturers on the West Coast to test and launch sites on the East Coast was slow and expensive. Aircraft broker Leo Mansdorf was stockpiling surplus Stratocruisers at Van Nuys prior to resale, and ex-USAF pilot John M. Conroy realized the potential of these aircraft to transport the large but relatively light rocket components. Conroy presented his plans for an extensively modified Stratocruiser to NASA, where an official commented that the bloated aircraft resembled a pregnant guppy. Although NASA was lukewarm on the concept, Conroy mortgaged his house and founded Aerospace Lines International in order to build and operate the concept aircraft. Conversion work was undertaken by On Mark Engineering. The pregnant guppy registered N1024V was built from an ex Pan Am airframe with a 5 meter section from an ex British Overseas Airways Corporation aircraft GAKGJ added immediately behind the wing. The wing, engines, tail, nose and cockpit were unchanged, but a new upper fuselage of 6 meters diameter was added, giving the aircraft a triple bubble appearance in front view. The entire rear section including tail surfaces was detachable to allow cargo to be loaded directly into the fuselage. The aircraft first flew on September 19, 1962, piloted by Conroy and co-pilot Clay Lacey. When Van Nuys Traffic Control realized that Conroy intended to take off, they notified police and fire departments to be on alert. However the huge aircraft performed flawlessly, the only difference in handling being a slight decrease in speed caused by extra drag of the larger fuselage. Carrying the SIV Saturn I rocket stage, the Guppy saved three weeks transit time versus barge, for a cost of $16 equivalent to $129.25 today per mile 1.6 km. Topic. Operational history In summer 1963, the pregnant guppy began flying NASA cargo. Among its early duties was transporting the first and second stages of the Gemini program's Titan II from the Martin Co. in Baltimore, Maryland to Cape Canaveral. As the space program grew through the late 1960s, it became clear that this one aircraft could not handle the whole transport load, and so 25 more Stratocruisers and ex-USAF C-97s were purchased to construct four Super Guppy aircraft, which were even longer and larger than the original. The various Guppy aircraft served throughout the 1960s, 1970s, and beyond, initially transporting space components, and later, as NASA scaled down its operations after the success of the Apollo program, transporting airliner sections, the pregnant Guppy was sold to American Jet Industries and registered N126AJ. It was broken up at Van Nuys in 1979. Topic. Specifications. Data from Jane's All the World's Aircraft 1965 General Characteristics Crew, 3 Length, 127 feet 0 in 38.71 meters Wingspan, 141 feet 3 in 43.05 meters Height, 38 feet 3 in 11.66 meters Wing area, 1,769 feet squared 164.35 square meters Empty weight, 91,000 pounds 41,275 kilograms Loaded weight, 141,000 pounds 63,945 kilograms Max. Takeoff weight, 141,000 pounds 63,945 kilograms Powerplant, 4 times Pratt & Whitney R436059 WASP Major Radials, 3,500 horsepower 2,611 kilowatts Each performance maximum speed, 320 miles per hour 515 kilometers per hour Cruise speed, 235 miles per hour 378 kilometers per hour Topic. See also 
related development Aero Spacelines Mini Guppy Aero Spacelines Super Guppy Boeing 377 Stratocruiser Boeing B-29 Superfortress <laughs>